do some final touches. I finally um, am ready to paint. I'm gonna mask off the hood and we're gonna do a little carbon fiber design. Hopefully it comes out the way I'm, I'm hoping it should come out. Um, but yeah, and the rest is gonna be gunmetal gray. And I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with the rest of the rear, but I did manage to find some old, um, I'm not entirely sure what this is from. Um, this is the front end, if any of you can recognize it. Um, I did use the rear end for, and I split that in half and just attached it directly to the, the cage itself. Um, I know that uh, you can also use the slash, I want to say two-wheel drive rear shock tower and it's got the, the little attachment on there for the body post and that should work also. You just cut it in half and then you can reattach it. I just used some longer screws. Um, not this exact screw but about the same length and um, I use that on each side but now it's time for paint so I have the everything taped off where I need it taped off and now I have the grip tape liner on under the hood and this is what I'm gonna use to create the effect first I'm gonna do a layer of black and then the gunmetal but I have to wait for the black to dry before I can do the gunmetal well guys pretty much uh, we're almost done here uh, bodies painted and all the interior features uh, the last last thing that I have to do is install the rear bar here um, for the tires or the rear tire carrier and then some upgraded links and you'll be seeing those in the next two videos so I'm really glad on how it came out um, it's pretty sick it's got a lot of travel uh, a lot of uh, upgrades this was the Yeti kit so I do have the heavy duty gears on the front and the rear and I also upgraded to uh, the Icon shocks front and rear and we're running Proline Mohawks 2.2 3.0 with the split six wheels and we're also running um, Proline slingshots in the rear with the same uh, wheel setup, the, the split six and um, as you've already seen in my previous video I stripped the red off the, the beadlock ring and it came out really really nice. So I'm really happy with the way the truck came out. Um, it wasn't very easy to do. Uh, we've got a couple hiccups and of course the paint's not perfect but uh, for some reason I can just never get the paint right but I really do like everything that I did with it. Um, I'm not sure if you can see entirely uh, the figures that I did. There's like the Master Chief helmet inside, and then there's the driver. I thought they came out pretty sick, so I was I was pretty happy with the way they came out. And then uh, probably my favorite part on this whole tire truck is the rear. And don't mind it, it's it's not it's just sitting on top right now. It's gonna sit further back, but uh, the rear um, that's probably my favorite part.